Hey everyone, it's Alex. I thought I'd make a bit of a raw video for you today just to talk about one thing that's probably locked you down for the duration of your life, but also the one thing that's locking you down from achieving, you know, the life you want and keeping you here, you know, living an average life. Now that one thing is excuses. Excuses are lies we tell ourselves. They're justification to do or not do something with our lives. And if you don't cut them out of your life, you will stay in the job until the day you do retire, or perhaps work in another job until the day you unfortunately um, pass away. You have to cut them. They're a cancer to your ambition. Excuses will never improve your life. They'll never change your life in a positive way, they'll only keep you down in living an average life. Now, think about a job you've been to in the job. Um, chances are the person you've arrested uh, made some kind of excuse. And when I was in custody, you know, near 99% of people who um, I processed had some kind of excuse. Now, although you are not like those people in terms of ethics and behaviors, you are like them if you are making excuses in terms of your mentality, in not taking personal responsibility for how your life is. Now, of course, that's not to say the things that you've got going on in your life don't exist, because we all know they do. I haven't got the money, I haven't got the credibility, I haven't got the time, I've got kids, my spouse doesn't support me. You know, we've all got this shit going on. But here's the thing. They are not the deciding factor on why you can or can't do something. The reason being is that there's millions of people around the world who are in dire situations who go on to achieve remarkable things. So my advice, my honest advice, you need to stop telling yourself all the bullshit reasons why you can't do something. Because all you need to do is put your head in a book, go on YouTube, look out in the world, and there's always people achieving phenomenal things. You know, we've all heard the rags to riches. How do they do that? It's the way they think. They don't think about the excuses. They don't think about what they lack. They think about how they can do something. I've had my own excuses when I started my own first company. I didn't have the credibility. I didn't have any investors at the time. I've got small hands for a man and I can't do DIY. Um, what else? Um, I didn't have the money, um, I had no experience, I was 24, you know, all these shitty excuses, blah, 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 but it's all bullshit. So I encourage you to think of the next five years of your life, because previously you might have gone all your life making excuses, and only you will know where that's got you today, and where that's keeping you today. And just think about the next five years, what would happen if you didn't make excuses? We know what happens when you do, but what happens when you don't? So I encourage you to drop your excuses because only when you drop your excuses will you find your results. You can't have both. You can't have excuses and results. One will kill your ambitions and your dreams and the lifestyle you want, and one will support them. Only you can choose that. And if you are one of those police officers or a member of the policing family as a whole who make excuses or won't change to drop your excuses, then I would encourage you personally to stay in your job because business won't be for you. But if you do want to step up, like the police officers on our Shifts to Success cohorts, then click on the link below. We're not about making excuses. We're results orientated. We're results focused. I hope this video has helped. It's a bit raw today. Um, but thanks for watching and if you like this video make sure you give it a like and I'll see you on the next one.